Well, first off, I want to start by saying I've been listening to some of your um, new tracks with Woven War, and they sound amazing. So congratulations Thanks. on the new album and the new beginning. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, for those who don't know, um, Woven War formed when As I Lay Dying disbanded and Nick, Phil, Josh, and Jordan, all except the lead singer, um, formed the new band after facing some trying circumstances. Um, Shane, what motivated you to join the band as the new lead vocalist? Um, well, there wasn't much motivation involved. I was just stoked, like, from the beginning. I, I mean, I was on t the Warp Tour last year, and, you know, all that stuff with Tim went down, and then, um, you know, the guys kind of went into to radio silence mode, and then out of the blue, Nick uh, wrote me in July, and he's like, hey, man, do you want to think for a new project of ours? And I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... And so when I was on Warp Tour, I flew out, and um, there, there wasn't really much motivation involved. I, like, I didn't need any. I just, <laughs> I was stoked right when they told me. Nice. Very, very, very lucky. And how's it going? So to have the opportunity. It. It's great. Everybody's, everybody gets along insanely well, and we're having a great time out here. And the writing process was super easy and fluid, and it was, uh, it's just been really natural. Awesome. Yeah, uh, and you guys are currently Very, on tour. You're doing a U.S. tour uh, right now. Yeah. How's, how's that going? How are you dealing with with being on tour all of a sudden with a new band? <laughs> um, I know it's great. Um, we're out with Black Label Society, and uh, we're on our third. Tonight will be our fourth show, but um, we've done three shows so far, and we've had three different uh, RVs because three oh, RVs okay. have broken down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, so that's been fun to deal with, but um, uh, no, like the the whole tour is really nice. King is out with us as well. They're opening the tour, and uh, everybody's great. And it's all, it's super different, um, like being the frontman guy because I know Sleeper, I was uh, like lead guitar player and never talked to the crowd or anything. And so it's, it's like a different it's a different dyna dynamic, but. Um, me and Josh are just kind of following into the lead singer roles, seeing what we can do and say, and like just figuring it out on the fly. <laughs> cool, yeah, you're, you're probably definitely still getting into a groove of things. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's uh, it's different. It's fun though. I'm still playing guitar, so it's not like that. That's uh, you know, I'm not just out there like naked without a guitar. <laughs> might feel weird. <laughs> But other than that, I mean, it's it's just been great so far. So I guess you would feel naked without a guitar then. Uh, well, I've never I've never not had a guitar on me. Um, it's, uh, since I started playing at like seven years old, I've I don't know. It's kind of an extension. Nice. <laughs> Do you have a favorite song to perform uh, off the new album, or one that's personal and close to your heart so far? Yeah, um, there's a song called Death to Rights that my personal favorite and it's it, it's pretty close to home i mean they all do but um that one in particular just about god i'll be honest it's, it's about a girl and uh <laughs> as most songs are but um that one hits hits home every night and it's it's probably just the funnest song to play live too what was that one Super called? Energetic. it's called death to rights death to right yeah rights yeah death to rights okay yeah. I'll have to check it out. And, yep, it's the second or uh, third third track on the, the album. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. Uh, and how did the band support each other um, through the difficult time of um, saying goodbye to you know over a decade with As I Lay Dying and m moving into a new one? Well, a lot of that I wasn't around for, um, okay. you know, and. Once I joined the fold, we just kind of like put the past behind us and uh, just focused on the new band. So, I mean, it's probably a question for those guys more than me, you know. Right. Okay. And what are you looking um, forward to most with, with Woven War? Well, like on the nearest horizon is going to a bunch of countries I've never been to. I get to go to Spain and, and Paris and... Uh, I've been to France once, but never got to play Paris, and 
never been to Finland or Sweden. So amazing. So you guys have tour dates for all those places? Yeah, we're doing um uh, in August we're doing a festival run over there and then um we take a little month break after that and then um we go back with Inflames and doing full European tour with with them. So yeah, it's insane. Like, I don't know. I just feel so lucky. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you definitely have a lot to look forward to. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm just chilling, like, just a kid from Texas and then uh, in the dressing room yesterday and then and walks back wild and, like, sits down and just starts talking. And I'm just like, oh, my God. <laughs> who who just, did like, Zach Wild? That, yeah, the, the freaking guitar legend. He oh. just, um, just comes in and just starts hanging out. <laughs> nice. It's crazy. <laughs> um, crazy time. So aside from pouring uh, yourselves into the music, um, what helps you to get through tough times individually or as as a band? I guess you um, haven't had tough times yet, but probably just... We, what's that? So we just, I mean, we're all in it together, and you look around, and, and uh, you know, like our RV broke down the first day, Right. And we were stranded, and we just looked around and we're like, like we, this is the lifestyle we chose. Like we can't really get down. We're still gonna like get to travel the world and just, I don't know, just having positive people around you is like the main thing in my life. I try, I try to just surround myself with the only positive people and kind of weed out the negative Nancys and and uh, that, that definitely keeps me stoked all the time. Even though whatever is happening, you know. Mm. And my old band went through insanely bad times, and we just, I don't know, if you got good good guys around you, it's its its not so bad. <laughs> um, can you tell us one random fact about each band member? Oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> okay, man, I wish I would have prepared for this. Um, <laughs> you can't prepare for that question. Um, <laughs> let's see. Jordan is uh, an avid golf player. He brought his clubs on this tour, which I didn't know about. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Nick. Um, gosh. Nick wants to play Magic the Gathering with me. <laughs> play Mag Magic the Gathering with me. Um, but he doesn't know how yet. And that's that'll that's going to make him so mad that I said that in an interview. Um <laughs> Oh gosh, um, I don't know any like uh, who else is in the band? Oh, Phil. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, oh God, I don't know. I don't know. Me, oh, uh, everybody doesn't know that I'm like a huge dork, like huge nerd. I have like. Elvish tattoos, and I'm obsessed with Lord of the Rings and anything nerdy. Nice. And yeah, uh, uh, yeah, that's all I can say. <laughs> there are millions of other people that also like. Oh yeah. Those things. So you're not alone. Oh, for, <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, and last but not least, um, do you have any words to live by or favorite lyrics? Favorite lyric? Wow. Um, there's a song called The Tempest that's, uh, or actually, the song Mason um, uh, is about, I mean, just like getting through trials and uh, whatever life throws at you, just get, I mean, just keep keep your head up and keep trekking. And the lyrics, the, the chorus and the Mason are just, we bend, we break, we're forced to heal. The trial and wake of it uh, <laughs> creates or tears us down. We bend, we break, we're, we learn to heal. And it's just about, like, Whatever, like, if you have a dream, just keep going for it, no matter what, like, is thrown at you, because when it does pay off, like, it, I, it's it's more about just, like, the journey instead of, like, the goal, you know, like, just keep going. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yep, definitely. Yeah. Amazing. Well, but that, and that's, I mean, basically what the whole record's about, and, um... Just perseverance. I mean, that was a big, a big topic because obviously these guys have been through hell for the past year with all the Tim stuff. So I mean, 
Um, and they were telling me, you know, a lot about it. But so I had that on my mind lyrically, and I've been through a bunch of stuff too with my other band, and I don't know, and girls. <laughs> <laughs> But uh How yeah we through, through breakups. Oh, uh music and mm-hmm. just writing about yeah, writing songs about it and just getting it out that way, pretty much. Revenge songs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Death to rights, if you ever if you do get the chance to listen to it, just I mean, if you read the lyrics I'm sure you'll uh you'll know. <laughs> okay. I'll check it out. Cool. Well, good luck with uh with the tour and and have fun in Europe. Okay, well, thank you. Thanks for the interview. Thanks so much. All right, cool. See ya. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye.